Hi, my name is Faye and here are 5 things you should know about physiotherapy in SIT. Physiotherapy is hands-on with long hours. Expect lab sessions to take up 50% of your timetable. It is also common to have back-to-back 3-hour -back lectures before going for your 3-4 to four hours lab session. However, we do have breaks in between practical lessons and lectures which you can use to rest or do some revision. We are a diverse bunch. I was quite surprised to see so many individuals from so many different backgrounds coming together in this major. Previously, I thought it would be filled with sportsmen, but instead there were others, just like me, who came from an arts background. This diversity has made group projects very engaging and interesting as we explore different perspectives and thought processes. There is a wide range of specialisations available. We don't just perform sports massages. We have various specialisations from neurology, where we assist patients with stroke, cardiopulmonary, which sometimes puts us in the ICU ward, and many more disciplines like paediatrics, geriatrics, and special needs. This opens up more opportunities for us to explore in the healthcare industry. Look forward to your overseas learning trip. One of my best memories was in year two, where I went to winter school at Switzerland. We grouped together with healthcare students from all over the world and shared best practices with one another. The trip was an eye-opening experience that taught me to approach healthcare with a multidisciplinary mindset. Lastly, every module is important, and I mean it literally. From foundation modules in anatomy and physiology, to advanced modules such as critical care, I still find myself referring to my notes from time to time. After all, since you can get any patient with any issue, every module has its values. As a qualified professional now, I'm beginning to have greater appreciation for how industry-relevant the curriculum at SIT is. By equipping me with standard industrial knowledge and know-hows, I find it easier to adapt to the various healthcare settings in Singapore. 